everyone, this is MJ. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you are a subscriber, and welcome if you're brand new. Today is Tuesday, and I'm going to do a tag. And as always, before we get started, remember to like this video, comment down below, let me know. Do you like tags? Do you like it when I do tags? Do you have a favorite tag? Um, is Tuesday your favorite day of the week? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also remember, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. So I am filming this um, early in the morning. So how is everyone doing? Um, I decided to bring a cup of tea with me. Um, today, I am a little under the weather. Uh, just seasonal stuff, I guess, you know? Sinuses couldn't take too much more. And um, I already had a cup of coffee, so I switched over to tea. And when I need an extra boost and don't need a lot of caffeine or caffeine jitters, I turn to um, this tea, which is called Morning Thunder by Celestial Seasonings. It is a yerba mate, I think, and it is a black tea and it is just delicious. Yeah, it's got mate and black tea. And I put a little uh, lump of sugar in the raw and a little cream and I'm good to go. and it's, it's to die for when you need a little, a little extra boost. Okay, so I was tagged by um, the channel Shannon's Bookish Musings in Music um, to do the genrely speaking book tag. This is an original tag uh, created by Criminali. So um, let's get to the prompts. There are seven prompts to this tag, so let's get to it. Um, I'm gonna read them. Prompt number one, a horrifying book that isn't horror. That's easy. For me, it was A Little Life. I read this back in January. The hardest book I've ever read that I wanted to DNF, but did not DNF. Um, I'm not gonna get into what's it all about. I'm sure most people have read it. Um, it is extremely difficult to read. It is <sighs> traumatic. It is there's no words. It is despicable. It is horrifying. It is gruesome. It is full of sadness. Um, yeah, th this absolutely was to me a horrifying book. That's answer for number one. Next prompt, a book with a terrible crime that is not a crime novel. I recently read The Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker. There's a bunch of murders in here and I would consider that a terrible crime. Um, this book was uh, the basis of the movie Hellraiser. Um, completely enjoyable. Uh, this reignited my love for horror. And yeah, absolutely. This is a book with a terrible crime that is not a crime novel. This is a horror novel. Next prompt, a book about love that isn't a romance. I chose one of my favorite books and that is The Beats of, Ex of Extraordinary Circumstances. This is by Ruth Emmy Lang. This is um, more of a fantasy. Um, and although there could be some elements of love, it's not an overpowering theme in the book. Um, this is about a character named Waylon who is raised by wolves and um, he runs into uh, an 11 year old girl in the woods uh, who is confronted by wolves and saves her. And they have a connection um, throughout her life. He pops in and out. And the story is mostly about him and her, um, but it, it's as if the two never, never really get together. He's always um, kind of from afar and um, letting her live her life there's points in the book where you really, really want them to just connect and get together. Um, but to me, this is a romance. This is a romance that isn't about, wait, yeah. A romance isn't about love. Is that the prompt? I don't even know. See, I'm under the weather. A book about love that is a romance. That's the prompt. Next prompt, a book with a puzzle that isn't a mystery. <clears throat> House of Leaves. That's all I'm saying. Next prompt, a book with magic that isn't a fantasy. 
I picked Moondance, recently read this. There is um, some elements of magic in here, and this is a quote unquote horror novel. Um, light on the horror, I say. This was written in the late 80s, so back then it was probably really terrifying. Um, but there are magical elements in here, so that's what I think. Next prompt, a book that thrilled you that isn't a thriller. In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. This is a true crime. This is nonfiction. This was Truman Capote's first um, work in that genre. Uh, and it is all encompassing of um, a true account of a uh, murder, multiple murder. And it goes through the backstory of all the people involved. And when you're reading this, um, you know, it is, it is thrilling. You have to remind yourself that this happened uh, based on actual events. So that is my answer for the prompt in Cold Blood by Truman Capote. If you haven't read this, I recommend it. It is um, descriptive, so, you know, but it is, it is also a thriller because you're, you're following the crime as it's planned out and as it, um, it follows the story from the planning stages all the way up until um, they are held accountable. So highly recommend it if you've never read it. And the last prompt, the last prompt is a book with science that isn't science fiction. This is a good one. Um, the Universe and Dr. Einstein. Hello, Dr. Einstein, can you see him? This is an oldie uh, and it is, oh, I got a Firefly bookmark in here. I love that store. Um, this actually is a family book. Um, this was my aunt's. Um, we are very much into sci-fi science here um, in my DNA. And this is the clearest and most readable book on Einstein's theories ever published. Highly recommended. I also picked another one. This is a great one um, for someone that isn't really into science, but this is the physics of everyday things. Um, it lays out scientific principles based on stuff that you use every day, such as a toaster oven. So I recommend this as well. Okay, so that is it for the genrely speaking book tag. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tag. It was a struggle for me to get through with all this going on. So um, I hope everyone is uh, staying safe and taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I am going to finish my tea and actually um, do some stuff. All right, so I will see you in my next video. Take care everyone. Until next time, goodbye for now.